Hi guys and welcome to Ron's Weight Loss Journey and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. And if you're a returning member, then welcome back. First, I'd like to uh, uh, state that I'm not a doctor and I don't make any medical claims. I just know that uh, my weight loss journey is working for me. If you follow along my YouTube channel and uh, if you like my channel and how I got it structured, Eventually, I'll be replacing some of the older videos with newer videos as we progress and get better. But, uh, but anyways, I just wanted to uh, get that out. And uh, also, today is uh, April 11th. It's a Sunday, and uh, we're getting ready to put up our ending results for week 32. And I really expected to have a really bad week as far as weight gain goes and was concerned because we had gotten off of uh, Easter last Sunday and... Uh, had uh, there been such thing as keto police, I probably would have gotten triple fines for speeding and I probably would have had it done 40 hours of community service for all, all the stuff I ate that week and uh, that day and the week this past, just passed. So to my amazement, when I got up this morning, I weighed myself and I weighed 247 pounds. I lost three, almost four pounds for the week. Now, I don't know. I don't know what went on as far as how, how I lost four pounds, but I'm suspecting it's because of all the walking I did. Uh, since the 1st of April, I put out a 50-mile uh, walking challenge, and I had walked uh, 20, almost 28 miles already yeah, for the month. And uh, I'm pushing out a 50-mile challenge, but I'm going to take it one step further, and I'm going to try to get 100 miles in this month. And this, i never done that in my entire life. And... Uh, so for activities this past week, we did a, uh, we walked every day this week, every day. We walked, sometimes we walked three times a day. And, and I'm finding now that if I walk three times a day, instead of trying to get five miles all at once, like I did the other day, I went one day this past week where I walked like six and a half miles and it took me like a better part of four hours. Um, I mean, I wasn't tired or anything like that, but um, the, I, I'm thinking to myself, I, I start, after that, it got me thinking, and I'm, I'm just going to start doing like two or three uh, miles, two or three different miles uh, of walking three different times a day, you know, until I get the uh, the results I'm looking for, which is about five miles a day. So when I come back from that, I'm not as tired. And uh, so on Sunday, when we had a triple plate of ham and the mountain of potatoes that I had three times and the gravy and the uh, the... the brown and syrup rolls and all the other junk that went along with it including the dessert we went out walking down to Dual State and then Monday I went walking I did three walks Monday Tuesday I went walking every day this past week so then uh, Wednesday comes rolling a lot around and uh, I got low and behold uh, I got my actually the seventh when, whenever whatever day the seventh fell on and then I got my uh, stimulus check on the seventh. I think that was on a Monday, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, but uh, whatever day the seventh falls on, when the uh, I, the uh, stimulus check showed up, it goes holy moly. So I was able to pay down all the monthly bills that normally would get paid for the month. And I went out and bought myself a new pair of hiking shoes and sneakers and. Bought myself some stuff we needed for the house and bought a new pillows and a uh, new comforter set and and uh, loaded up on some grocery shopping, stuff like that. So the money really helped and um, I bought a new G, a new uh, mini uh, gimbal that I purchased and they, uh, I bought a, uh, a uh, new mini waffle maker and not just a mini waffle maker but a mini dash waffle maker that actually makes four squid bite-sized sandwiches all at once without making a mess and I'm going to fill out a ton of recipes with that and I'll put the uh, all those links below the video but if you but why make four why make one when you can make four and uh, one takes about three and a half minutes to make one there and you got to wait a long time and if you want to make two and say okay then, then two and I'm done you can make four all at once and be done with it and you're gonna have two sandwiches for your day and you can use the waffle uh, or the shaffle as they call them they, they're kind of like waffles there but i found a really easy recipe just one slice of your favorite cheese and you just add your egg mixture right on top of your mold when you close the lid and three and a half minutes later you got a perfect shaffle made and uh, i'm going to be doing a lot of those type of recipes and uh when i'm done the egg fast i'm going to be making something called pizza in a mug so that's going to be a pretty interesting uh, 
uh, uh, recipe photograph that, that a, a, a recipe that I'm going to be putting up in the next week or two. So be watching for that. Um, what else would happen to go on? We got a COVID-19 uh, vaccine shot Thursday. We got the uh, Johnson & Johnson one. So now we don't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, we did a night of socializing Friday night. We went to play bingo up in New Hampshire there. And we hadn't played bingo in over a year since the virus shut down. And uh, we actually won a little bit of money. Just We broke even more or less. And uh, so I was really happy to see some old faces that I hadn't seen in a while. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's just been, everything's been good. Um, we're going to slowly come out of this flying colors with this virus that's out there. So just be patient. I tell people to be patient with your weight loss. Weight loss is a, uh, is a, is a trust the process. You just have to trust the process and be patient. Now, um, but we ate a lot of carbs this week. My stomach has felt absolutely bloated. So I, I uh, I decided I'm going to do another egg fast next week for five days, and I, uh, I bought the uh, free-range pasteurized eggs that I'm going to be eating, and I'm going to be making some chapels Monday for the week, and uh, I'm going to be making a whole bunch of them, like about 12 chapels up, but I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, and I'll have them whenever I want a sandwich, so in other words, I'll make an egg, you know, I'm, I'm going to count the, uh, the eggs that I have to make every day, and I'm, I'm going to be documenting my egg fast day to day, and I'm going to be putting it all together in a video, and, and my starting weight for the week, which is 247. Uh, I'm not going to expect too much so as weight loss goes, guys, for, for the egg fast. You know, I want to get down to 230 pounds or say to under 240. And that would be an achievement. So anything past that is a bonus in my eyes. And uh, so I don't want to set myself up for a disappointment. So we, we bought the Shaffle Maker. And since I wore out my sneakers, uh, that I was using before. I mean, it's been about two or three years since I bought a pair of sneakers. I uh, bought a new pair of uh, hiking shoes yesterday and uh, I absolutely love them. I, I started wearing them today. I went out and did uh, two miles of walking this morning on a Sunday morning. And I usually put my videos up Sunday or so Monday, depending on when I uh, get, get these done. I got a couple of videos I want to film out this week and uh, film out my egg fast journey this week. So if you want to follow along. Now, somebody asked me on Keto Rewind. Uh, could you post up what you're going to be eating this week? And uh, so basically, it's going to be an eggs, guys. It's just going to be fixing them up different ways. Uh, my first day, I'm going to be making uh, fried eggs. I'm going to break the yolk and put some uh, on one healthy uh, uh, ounce of cheese on each one. And I'll probably do like four eggs in the morning and three eggs in the afternoon. I'll make all seven eggs up all at once and I'll just put them in containers and I'll so I'm only going to make the one-time mess and clean it up, and I'll be done with it. And then I'll probably make hard-boiled eggs one day, and uh, I won't make many. I'll probably make six hard-boiled eggs, because I'm going to have them with those sandwiches for the uh, uh, shackle sandwiches. And then I'm going to be uh, making some more egg bites and some more shaffles, and that's basically it and simple. Uh, simple is the key for me. Simple is better. And uh, when I do recipes, guys, I don't really... Uh, Put a lot of junk uh, seasonings on it, whatever. I make it, I make it how my wife and make it, like make it simple. I buy a lot of those uh, uh, season bag seasonings from McCormick there. They make really great seasonings for like today we're having uh, a pot roast and an old fashioned Yankee pot roast. No carbs today. Uh, so and uh, I'm making it in the Instant Pot. It's already it's already cooking. It's 10:30 in the morning. It'll, that'll be done about 11:30. It'll be four tender the way I like it. And I'm having so a little tiny carrots with it. And I'm having some leftover asparagus I had from last Sunday to finish it up. And that's all I'm having today. And I bought a, uh, I sent out for uh, some more collagen that came in today. And then I uh, bought one of those 64 ounce uh, bottle waters that uh, my friend Steffi from uh, the Incredible Shrink and Steffi that she had recommended. Now, I'm not going to have room for that in the refrigerator, so I'm probably just going to drink out my water daily according to uh, my refrigerator is not that big, so I'm going to have to just uh, deal with it the best I can and maybe keep icing it and keep it cold throughout my day. And uh, that's how I'm going to get around it. But um, I noticed I hadn't been drinking a lot of water this past week, and uh, I felt really sluggish with all the carbs I've been having, and I think that's the reason why I was craving carbs. So I'm going to go back on um, the uh, the reason why I got the water the bottled water was so I can uh, make sure I can get my water intake every day in. And uh, so after uh, Easter, when we got our, our stimulus check, we ended up going at uh, Texas Lawn, 
Yeah. So we ended up going at Longhorns, and of course, you know, they give you that nice uh, bread, and I got the steak tips, and my wife got a, uh, she got a uh, salmon and uh, baked potato, and I, that was really, really good. And then Friday night when we went to Bingo up in New Hampshire, I ended up getting a uh, BLT on wheat bread along with some french fries, and they just don't give you french fries. They load it up with french fries, of course, those were carbs. So then yesterday, on Saturday, we went flea marketing, and we were hungry, we said, let's go to Kimball's, because they were open, they opened up this week. So if those of you guys are familiar with Kimball, Kimball's there, they don't stinge on what they give you for food. So we got scallops, uh, clams, and onion, order of onion rings, and it was so big, I go, they were delicious, but I only ate what I ate, and it was full, and I, and I stopped when I was full, and, uh, and I, I really expected to gain pounds this week, but I actually lost four pounds. I was like, wow, what the heck happened? So I'm pretty sure it might have been all the walking that I did. And uh, and the reason why I was craving all those carbs after Easter was because I wasn't getting a lot of water in this week. So we're going to be going back on the water intake this week. Uh, basically for water, all I was doing was uh, Coke Zero, which isn't really, isn't really water, and my coffee intake in the morning. And I think that's why I've been kind of like sluggish all week and been craving carbs again. And uh, so we're going to be doing the egg fast this week. And um, we're going to try that for five days up until Friday. And then we're going to go back on carnivore, keto raw. We're going to do the, uh, we, can just got, we, we just do everything simple. And uh, I already got a freezer full of meat and stuff like that for the carnivore. But uh, yeah, so, and, and we're going to continue on with the walking journey. And we got the new period hiking shoes, which I'm really excited about. And uh, since this whole uh, check coming in Wednesday for my check that usually comes in and I usually pay bills with it, I, since I've already paid the monthly bills, I'm using a lot of that money to get myself a, M, uh, a Canon N50 camera that I've been wanting to get for quite a while now because I'm a photographer for the city. Well, I'm a volunteer. I don't get paid. And uh, so I'm going to start putting myself up there for sale. So if anybody wants to hire me out for uh, photography, I'll have a nice uh, professional setup. And uh, I have some professional video cameras if you need me for videoing and uh but you know um i'm going to put it out there again guys i've been asked many many times to volunteer my time and my services and my equipment and and i was asked again by one of the local parishes here i'm, I'm going to help you guys this time but you know i want to start getting paid for it you, you know i uh, i can't build up my my uh i can't get any equipment if i if i if i don't get paid for it and I'm sure you understand that. I mean, uh, I mean, if you're if you're a if, if you're a pastor or a priest or, or a priest even, and, you, and you're doing your Sunday services, most of the time you guys have salaries. And if you're a volunteer and you want you want my services to do videotaping and uh, photography, I don't get paid for that, and I and I want to get paid for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I don't have nothing to be ashamed of. I, I've been doing what I just I was doing strictly volunteering for the last ten years. And, and, and it's got to stop. I'm not doing it no more, period. You know? So, um, that that's the biggest issue right now. You know, you know, I'm on limited income like everybody is. And, and, I got, and everything's so expensive. And I just got to be careful what I spend. When, when our money is gone, it's gone. And it's a long four weeks before I, uh, before I get another check coming in. So, you know, that's, that's the reason why we, we're going to try to generate a little bit of cash. And, uh, you know, if it doesn't happen, that's fine. But I'm not doing it for nothing anymore. But uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, we have that and uh, we're gonna do the egg fast. We're gonna let you know how it's gonna be going. And we're gonna do some more hiking this week. We're gonna try to keep breaking in the new shoes. Um, and uh, yeah, so everything's been going good. Uh, the new bed's doing really good. I've been sleeping in an average of about eight to 10 hours a night and I feel terrific in the morning when I get up. I can elevate my feet now and I can elevate my, my uh, digestible bed. It's uh, everything's been going good, and uh, you know, once again, I tell you guys that I'm a firm believer of God and Jesus died on the cross for us. And uh, I, I get up every day, and, and I, uh, you know, I put my hand on my heart and I just put my uh, my my uh, fingers up in the sky, and I just thank the good Lord that you know He's He's blessing me with another day and another chance to uh, keep you guys motivated out there, and uh, and to. Uh, Continue your weight loss journey. Uh, so, but anyways, I guess that's not. Don't have anything else to say. I'm just trying to think. This is all non-scripted, by the way. Sometimes I'll write a little script and I'll talk about what I want to talk about. 
but uh, it's it's a uh, it's April 11th. It's Sunday. It's, it was an overcast morning. I can see the sun coming out. We got we got showers moving in later today. But um, I just wanted to say, uh, if you're new to my community, welcome. And if you're not, uh, please. And if you uh, if you're new to my community, welcome. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're new to my community, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free, but it helps everybody else know when I have the latest video, which I typically post two or three videos a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. But I usually like to post my weekly updates at least Sunday night or Monday night, depending on uh, what I got going on for the week. Now, uh, we're gonna, again, we're going to be pretty busy coming up the summer there. We got the events going to be coming back, hopefully, a little bit set pieces at a time. We got we got a summer concert series starting in June, and hopefully the Colonial Band concert will come back. And that's two nights of filming, sometimes three, and that's three days of video editing, and so it's a tremendous amount of work, plus my own YouTube channel, which I don't mind, but but all that I don't get paid for. So like I said, all the other stuff that I don't get paid for, I want to start getting paid for it. And if you want my services, well, I'm available, but like I said, and, and I'm not up to bust your budget, you know, I'm just looking for, you know, you know, I'll work with your budget, whatever it is, you know. But anyways, uh, I don't want to put a price out, but I've been getting a lot of requests, by the way, for my prints. Uh, what I'm going to start doing with the photographs that I've been taking, I'm going to start framing them up in uh, some nice fancy frames with a whiteboard around it and with the information with the photograph underneath it. And uh, I'm going to put them up for sale. And uh, I'm not going to say what the price is going to be, but if you're interested, please, please, uh, Put a comment below the video and i'll be happy to get one out to you they're not going to be free but they're not going to uh they're not going to be expensive to something where you can't afford but uh but anyways this is mr ron i hope you have a good week i hope you have a good month i hope you have a good day um if you like my comments or anything like that if you got anything to add i think you want me to do a film for you guys or anything you want to see is some recipes i'm going to be putting up recipes i just the, the problem with the recipes my countertop is an absolute mess i mean trying to get my my spouse to clean it up and and she's tired all the time you, you, you know and but she does do a good job but you know I'll, I'll show you an example about later on I'm, I'm gonna film out anyways and just clear off a small little space and uh, we'll just deal with it but uh, but anyways I'll talk to you guys later you guys have a great week you have a great month and uh, I'll talk to you later remember you guys are amazing